purpose of this video is to explain beginning Iaida. I'm going to use a boken, a wooden sword, rather than an Iaito, so that you can see that it's doable without having to put a lot of expense into a sword. Well, the first bow that I did uh, here was about to the showman, to the senseis, and then about toward the sword, and then when you put this in, a lot of people, they want to put it in here on the side, so they have to feel fool around here. The easy way to do it, and what I was taught, was to set it in here on the, on the front, and then slide it around to the side. If you're wearing a hakama, it's hard to get this in here on the side, but if you set it here on the front, you can reach into the hakama, feel the center, and bring this around to the side, and it'll slide right out. Slide back in. And you want to have your belt um, pretty snug so that it doesn't flop down and, and fall out. Nisho Sensei taught that um, you carried like you had two swords. So if you had a wakazashi, the wakazashi would, would fit in across here, and the katana would be um, straight ahead when you were carrying. So Nisho Sensei taught from a straight ahead carry. Um, the Toyama Ryu thought from just carrying one sword, so, so the, the carry was more here. In either style, the Toyama Ryu Bato or the Aikitoho Iaido, even with the Eshiryu Iaido, you're coming up here and you're coming up so the the top of your thumb knuckle here comes to just below the uh, the handle right here and your the uh, the heel of my thumb is at the suba so you can feel this and you know where it is and your thumb of your left hand is going over the the suba so it's about the half the length of my uh, thumbnail, or, or maybe clear it back to the cuticle of the thumbnail that's over the tsuba, and this controls it. So if you have a, an old sword that the, the saya, the opening of the scabbard, is, is wobbled out, and when you drop over like this, it's, it's going to drop out. So by having your thumb over it, you can control that and keep that, and you um, move this in and out by controlling with your thumb. So, there's going to be people, and, and I, I slammed this a little bit to, to get the, uh, the bushing here to um, keep the saya tight against the, the handle. There's going to be people who want to push with the tip of their thumb when they're getting ready to um, draw. That's not the proper way to do it. So you want to have that control to where if you decided not to draw, you could pull that back in. But if you do it with the tip of your hand, then you have either have to move your hand or get the other hand on to bring it back in. So by, by doing it like this, you can control that in and out. And the, this is an old bushing, so the, it slips loose. The opening of the scabbard is, is wobbled out, and when you drop over like this, it's, it's going to drop out. People who don't do bato, don't do actual cutting, they want to come in like this and tell you that you should go like this and go like this. So it hides your, your draw um, so you don't know what your intention is. So, so at the last minute, you turn this sideways and then think that they're going to cut. Um, well, if you've got a really sharp tip, um, yes, it will scratch across um, the target. But if you're actually going to cut, you need to get the blade out to where this is going to clear and the tip is going to be out here so that you can come across the target and cut through the target. 
So that means that as you're drawing, you need to roll this out to about 15 to 20 degrees out to the left. So you'll get this out here. It's about half drawn. And then as it clears, you're pulling back with your left hand at the same time that you're drawing forward. And as it clears, you squeeze with your pinky and the tip comes out and you can cut across and get a good cut. And your blade will be straight. Just to come over.